Talaga na maunawaan nyo na sa parabola may mga iba't ibang parts na kailangan nyo matutunan. At sa parabola rin, meron tayong dalawang sets ng equation na magde-determine ng inyong parabola. Yun yung mga parabola na nag-o-open up and down or opening vertically at yung mga parabola naman na nag-o-open horizontally na pwedeng nag-o-open to the right or to the left. Now, yung mga parts ng parabola na gagamitin natin today would be your directrix, which is this line right here, your vertex and your focus. Now, yung vertex, sila yung midpoint between the focus and the directrix. So, kung ito yung inyong directrix at ito yung inyong focus, yung gitna niya will be your vertex. At mahalaga na alam nyo na yung vertex is nasa gitna ng focus and directrix kasi kahit saan siya mag-open, laging ganito yung order ng kanilang parts. Yung directrix naman is a fixed line in a parabola, this one right here, at yung focus is a fixed point in your parabola which is inside the enclosure of your parabola. And the last part of your parab parabola is the axis of symmetry which is a line that cuts through the middle of your parabola na para magkaroon kayo ng mirror image noong left hand side at saka noong right hand side. So yan yung mga parts ng parabola na gagamitin natin today para matutunan nating mag-analyze at mag-sulat ng mga equation ng mga parabola. Now, after nyo malaman yung mga parts ng parabola, kailangan nyo namang maintindihan yung equation ng parabola na gagamitin natin. Meron tayong standard equation ng mga parabola na nag-open upwards and downwards. So, kung ang parabola nyo ay nag-open vertically, ang inyong equation na inyong parabola will be x minus h squared equal to 4p times y minus k. So, mag-iiba lang siya kapag ang opening niya is downwards, ang p nyo is magiging negative. So, kung ang p is positive, it's opening upwards. At kung ang p is negative, it's going to open downwards. But, yung equation nyo is parehas pa din. Now, yung second set ng inyong parabola, yung mga parabola na nag-open horizontally, which is going to the left or going to the right. Now, ang equation ng parabola ay mag-iiba kapag ang opening ng parabola will be given this way. So, instead of x minus h squared, now we have y minus k squared equal to 4p x minus h. Now, yung p value nyo ay mag-iiba lang kung ang opening niya is going to the right, you'll have a positive P, at kung ang opening niya is going to the left, you'll have a negative P. So, yan yung dalawang set of equations na gagamitin natin para sa equation ng parabola today. Now, ito yung mga um, notation sa bawat part ng uh, parabola na gagamitin natin. Since, since ang vertex A yung point doon sa parabola or a fixed point in a parabola, it will be represented by H and K. Yung focus nyo naman is point, so you'll have an ordered pair of X and Y, at yung directrix nyo is aligned, so it could be X equal to a number or Y equal to a number. Now, sa first example natin, mag analyze tayo at mag-graph ng ating parabola. So, equation at, sa problem na to, we need to graph and analyze the parabola with center at 0, 0, focus at 0, negative 3, and directrix at y equals 3. So, meron tayo, tayong tatlong parts na given sa problem. Yung vertex, yung focus, at saka yung directrix. Now, ang una yung kailangan gawin is to graph the following parts. So, since ang vertex nyo is at 0, 0, so nandun siya sa gitna, yung focus nyo is 0 and negative 3, so andito yung focus sa negative 3 axis, at yung y value nyo, or yung directrix is y equals to 3, at y equal to 3 will be, oh my god, Now, sa unang example natin, kailangan natin i-graph and in-analyze ang parabola with the center at 0, 0, focus at 0, negative 3, and directrix at x equal to 3. Now, to graph this parabola, kailangan muna natin i-organize yung mga given parts. So, we have vertex, which is given as a point, focus, which is also a point, at yung directrix nyo, which is equal to a line. So, x is equal to 3. Kaya kapag gagin-graph natin itong mga parts na ito, makakuha natin yung ating graph based or yung standard equation ng graph based doon sa dalawang 
set ng equations natin. So, to graph the equation, para malaman natin kung itong first set or second set ang gagamitin natin, yung vertex daw is at 0, 0. So, ito yung vertex ko. Yung focus nyo daw is at 0, negative 3. At meron kang directrix at x equal to 3. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, x equal to 3 is just the vertical line. Kasi ang directrix, lagi siyang line na kung saan para siyang wall para sa inyong parabola. Now, alam natin yung parabola is mag open to the left dahil sa focus. So, yung focus yung inyong guide kung paano nyo i-open ang parabola. Kasi hindi nyo pwedeng i-open yung parabola going this way dahil magta-touch siya sa wall. So, hindi siya pwedeng mag-touch sa wall kaya lagi siyang opposite direction na kung saan yung inyong directrix. So, since ito na yung graph ng inyong parabola, alam nyo na dito sa dalawang equations na to, ang gagamitin nating equation will be the second set of equation kasi it's opening sideways. So, our parabola which is given by y minus k squared equal to 4px minus h, papalitan natin yung value ng k, p, and h. Ang k and p, or k and h, will be the vertex of your graph, which is given by this equation. So, ang hk nyo will be 0, 0, kasi andun yung ating vertex. At yung p value nyo naman, you own yung number of units away from the vertex to your focus. So, you have 1, 2, 3 units, kaya meron tayong negative 3 as our value of p. So, i-simplify natin ngayon yung ating equation and you'll have y minus 0 squared equal to negative 12 times x minus 0. Now, to further simplify the standard equation of your parabola, pwede nyo tanggalin si 0 and you'll have an equation of y squared equal to negative 12x. So, ito yung equation ng parabola base doon sa binigay sa ating mga parts. So, tulad rin yung example number 1, kailangan din natin i-graph at saka i-analyze yung mga following parts ng parabola. So, the first parabola, we have to graph and write the standard equation of a parabola with center at 0, 0 and focus at 3, 0. So, ang gagawin natin, since dalawa na lang yung given, is to organize the given parts, which is center at 0, 0 and the focus at 3, 0. So, una nyo muna i-graph si center at 0, 0, si focus at 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. At alam naman natin na yung vertex natin, uh, inside, or yung focus is inside our parabola, so it's opening upwards. So, ito yung guide nyo kung saan mag-open ang parabola. At since ang directrix nyo is equidistant doon sa distance ng vertex to your focus, since 1, 2, 3 units away from your vertex yung focus nyo, yung directrix, directrix nyo naman is 3 units away from your vertex as well, pero sa opposite direction. So, you have 1, 2, 3, at ito yung inyong value ng directrix, which is y equal to negative 3. So, ito yung ating graph. Now, since the directrix has the same distance as the focus from the vertex, then finding the directrix is found by counting 3 units opposite to your vertex. Kaya natin nakuha yung value ng p. So, to um, write your standard equation of a parabola, you will just replace h, p, and k by the center and the number of units away from the directrix and your um, vertex. So you'll have center, um, vertex at 0, 0 with a p value of positive 3 because it's opening upwards at positive yung value ng focus nyo. Kaya you'll have x minus 0 squared equal to 12 times y minus 0, which you can change into x squared equal to 12y kung if simplify nyo yung inyong equation. At yan yung pagsagot ng problem number 2 wherein you are only given the center and the focus. Now, sa example number 3, we are given the directrix at x equal to 2 and the center at 0, 0. So, ngayon naman, ang merong big part na alam natin is yung center at saka yung directrix. So, we have the center at 0, 0 and directrix at x equal to 2. So, una yung gagawin is to graph the given parts para mahanap natin yung focus. So, we have the vertex at 0, 0 and we have the directrix at x equal to 2. At alam natin na hindi pwedeng mag-pass through the wall yung ating parabola. So, it's going to open to the left. Now, ang focus natin, makukuha natin yan since equidistant naman daw yung vertex to your di directrix ng inyong focus to your vertex. So, you have one, two units dito sa inyong 
um, the distance between the vertex and the focus. So you'll also have two units dun sa opposite direction naman ng inyong directrix. So you have one, two units. So you'll have two for the value of P for your focus. So, ang magiging focus nyo ngayon will be at point negative 2 and 0. Now, since alam na natin yung mga parts, pwede na natin kuha a new standard equation of parabola. So, you have y minus k squared equal to 4p times x minus h as your equation. Papalitan natin si k, si p, and si h. Si k will be 0 because 0, 0 lang naman yung center nyo. So, you have 0 and 0 for the center. And your P is negative 2 kasi it's opening to the left. So you have y minus 0 squared equal to 4 times negative 2 times x minus 0, which when you simplify will give you y minus 0 squared equal to negative 8 times x minus 0. Now to further simplify the standard equation of a line, since 0 and 0 lang naman sila, pwede mo nang tanggalin si 0, so you'll have y squared is equal to negative 8x. So yan yung kaibahan ng dalawang equations. You have a positive P kapag opening upwards yung inyong parabola and you'll have a negative P kapag ka ang opening nung inyong parabola is to the left. Also, kung ang parabola nyo is opening sa downwards, ito ay magiging negative at kung ang parabola nyo is opening to the right naman, ito ay magiging positive. So, yun yung mga dapat nyo malaman sa pag-graph ng mga parabola na gamit ang conic section.